children, and welcome back to another English class. I am Miss Jocelyn Flores, and welcome back fifth grade. In this opportunity and in this new video, we are going to start working with unit number two. So, are you ready to start? Let's begin. Pay attention to the photo that we have here, and this is the photo that you have in your linked book. And remember that here we have Jacob and Mason. Remember that also this person is called Simon Jackson. Remember that these two brothers are in a, in a dance competition and they are being part of a dance audition. So remember that Jacob is a very good dancer. Okay, let's begin with family members. Okay, in the unit number two, we're going to use the vocabulary about family, okay, family members, the persons that we love, the persons that we care about it. So let's begin with grandma, okay, pay attention to the photo, and this is grandma. In Spanish, this will be abuelita o abuela. Let's go with the other photograph that I have here, he is grandpa. In Spanish, It will, this will be abuelo. And together, grandma and grandpa are grandparents, okay? Grandparents, grandma and grandpa. Grandparents, it means in Spanish, abuelos. Let's continue with, this, with the other photograph. Here we have mom. You also could say it mother. And this is in Spanish will be like mama. Madre. And then next to mom we have that. And that in Spanish will be papa. Both together, mom and that are grandparents. In Spanish, this will be padres. Let's focus now on these little girls. And these little girls are sisters. Okay? Remember that. You can also use plural form or in a singular form. You can use you can you can have one sister or you can have two or three sisters. In Spanish, this will be hermana or hermanas. Then in the other photo, we have brother or brothers. Depends on the case of the amount of family members that you have. So in Spanish, this will be hermano o hermanos. In the next photograph, you have here a boy that is called uncle. And uncle, like the cartoons of Uncle Grandpa, I don't know if you, if you know it, but uncle, it means in Spanish, tío. Then we have the lady over here that it's aunt. And in Spanish, this will be tía. Finally, we have the sons, probably, of your uncle and aunt, that are your cousins, okay? Cousins could be a boy or could be a girl. And here, in Spanish, this will be primos. Puede ser prima o primo. En ambos casos ocupa la palabra cousin. Okay, let's continue with the, set, the, the third slide. Let's talk about a little bit of be simple present. In the previous unit, we already worked with the affirmative form. Like, for example, I am Chilean. I am Portuguese. I'm from Chile. I'm from Mexico. Okay, remember that we work it with countries and nationalities. In this opportunity, you're going to try to learn how to make the negation for those sentences and for that we're going to focus here we make the negative simple present of the be with subject i you he she it you we they with the words am um, is and are and of course the word that represents the negation not like for example i could say that i am I am not Portuguese because I am Chilean, okay? I am not 
Portuguese because I am Chilean. Let's pay attention to the examples that we have here. She is not in the classroom. And in the short form, you have she isn't in the classroom. Let's go with the second example. I am not American. I'm not American. And the third example is they are not tired. They are not tired. So that is the part from the negative structure. Remember, try to remember countries and nationalities and think a little bit about I am Chilean, but I am not Portuguese or I am not American, okay? I am not Mexican because I'm Chilean. Let's talk about a little bit of interrogative and short answers. And here we are going to talk about question, how we can form a question. And for that, we're going to start with the words am, is, and are. Then you're going to continue with the subject. And finally, you're going to have in this opportunity like a complement. And finally, the question mark. Then we're going to try to focus on the examples. And here you have the two possible answers that represents to the short answers. A positive one, yes, subject, um, is, and are. And no, that is a negative answer. No, subject, I'm not, isn't, and are. Let's see some examples. Is she late? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Are you late? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Am I late? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. If I made a question, for example, are you Chilean? Try to try to try to verify the information if I am Chilean or not. Are you Chilean? Yes, I am. Or I could give I could ask you to you. Are you American? And you probably are going to answer me. No, I'm not, because you are Chilean. Okay. Let's continue with the third slide or the fourth slide. And here we're going to talk about a little bit of question words plus B. This kind of words extract information. It's very important to know that because are not uh, with short answers. And for that, you're going to use the WH question. Then you're going to use am, um, is, and are. And finally, the subject. And of course, a question mark. And for that, here I have the word who, that it's going to be useful for you, for a person, who am, who am you. Then we have what, asking for information. What is it? Then we have where, for place, where am I? Then we have when for time, when is your birthday? And then we have which, that asking for choice, which is your book? And finally, how old, that represents to the age, how old are you? Now I am going to explain a little bit about, here I have a mistake, is who are you? Who are you? No, who am I you? Who are you? When I am talking about who, I am talking always about a person. The word who in Spanish represents quién. When I am talking about who are you, who are you, quién eres tú. The second word, what, it means qué and why. What is it? ¿Qué es eso? Then we have where, in Spanish, this will be donde, siempre haciendo referencia un lugar. Where am I? Donde estoy yo? Then we have the word when, that represents time. Uh, in this opportunity, when is cuando. 
When is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Representa tiempo. Then we have which, that is asking for choice, que nos está pidiendo que eh, podamos preguntar por una opción, por una decisión. ¿Cuál? Which is your book? ¿Cuál es tu libro? And finally, the phrase how old siempre va a ser referencia a la edad. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes tú? Here we have another common questions, another common, exam common examples using question words. Like for example, what's your name? In my case, my name is Jocelyn Flores. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. Or you could say that she is 15 years old. How old is she? How old is he? He is, I don't know, 25 years old. He is 25 years old. Then we have a very common question that I think that you already were with that because it was in the test. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Chile. I'm Chilean. Okay, where are you from? De donde eres? Okay, remember always to wear your mask is very important because we are in, the, in, in this pandemic about the COVID. So, take care a lot. And what do we have here? The last content that we are going to work in this unit number two, that are you ready? I think that you are ready to learn Are you ready to understand what I am going to explain now? So, let's talk about a little bit of demonstratives. Pay attention to these photos that I have here. I have two big words, near and far. What are, uh, what are the meaning of these words? Near, cerca, far, lejos. We're going to use the word this, these, that and those. Pay attention to the arrows because these two arrows are very, very near, close. This is only one person, so this is a pencil. Este es un lápiz. These are pencils. Estos son lápices. Pay attention to the arrow that the arrow here is far. That is a bag. Esa es una mochila. Those are bags. Esas son mochilas. You have to pay attention that for people and things that are near to us, that is the explanation of the word near. And then we have far for people and things that are not near to us. We use the word these, that, these, and those to introduce and identify people. Like for example, this is my friend, Michael, or that, That is my English teacher, okay? Remember, near, near, cerca, far, lejos. Singular, only one. Plural, more than one. Okay, boys and girls, I think that we are ready for today. We are ready for this class, so are you ready? Like the, like the title of this unit? Thank you very much for paying attention to this video. And I see you in a next time, in a next video, and please take care. Bye-bye.